Masrukum. Brothers and sisters, ismun, a noun, yadullu, indicate, ala ma wakat alahi sarikatu. It's a noun on which, brothers and sisters, the stealing took place. Or the stealing occurred. Wahua mushtakun, and it is derived min surika. Okay, brother, what is surika? Majhul. Now remember, brothers and sisters, we know you cannot have ism maful from intransitive verb. Okay? And you cannot make any verb majhul if it is intransitive. Are you with me? The verb has to be transitive in order to make it into uh, passive voice. What is passive voice? al fi'lul madi lil majhul. That is your passive voice. You got to keep all those English terminology in your mind. You know why, brothers and sisters? Someday you will stand up and teach our children here. And they are brought up here in Canada. So they will understand English better if you try to also bring in then the, the terminology of English grammar. So, ism file is called active participle. And ism maful is called passive participle. Well, you summa and it is called ism maful. Ismul mafuli, ismul masugun, min al fi'lil mabniyi lil majhul lil dalalati. Brother, dalla yadullu, and the master is dalalatun. Alama waka alayhi fi'alu. Same thing, brother, it indicates ma is here allazi, on whom the action occurred. Daraba yadribu madrubun. So, what is madrubun? It's the noun on which the action took place of beating. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, mafulun means it is the receiver of the action. Are you with me? For akala, uh, akilun and makulun. What is the meaning of makulun? The thing which is eaten, the, which receives the action of eating. I try to, you know, explain you in a very simple way. Inshallah, it makes sense. But the shariba yashrabu wahuwa sharibun and mashrubun means the things which receive the action of being drunk. Okay. Got the idea, inshallah? Okay. Wahuwa ala wazni wahuwa ala wazni mafu Lun. Are you with me? Remember this wazan. Maf u lun. Where is fa kalima? Fa. Where is ain kalima? Ain. And lam kalima. But remember fa kalima got a sukun. And ain kalima also got extra wow there. Huh? So what is extra in maf u lun? Meme and wow. This is extra. But that is the pattern. Huh? It's very easy. Once you understand these things, brother, you will be surprised how beautiful and fascinating Arabic language is, you know, and how how easy and interesting it becomes, inshallah. Min fail sulasi, brother, mujarrad. What is mujarrad? When you say fail sulasi, mujarrad. I say mujarrad, not mujarrid. So, Sister Maimuna, what is mujarrad? It is ism maful. What is the verb? Jarrada. Huh? What is the verb, brothers and sisters? Jarrada. You jarridu. Mujarrid will be ism file, and mujarrad is ism maful. Huh? Are you with me? So, that is your. Fail uh, sulasi mazid fihi. What is it? Fail sulasi mazid fihi. When you say fail sulasi, mujarrad means pure. Huh? There is nothing added to it. Huh? 
It is in its pure form. Nothing has been added to it. They can also say naked. Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. So this maf'ool, brothers and sisters, this maf'ool is that applies to fail sulasi mujarrat. Huh? Applies to fail sulasi mujarrat. Fine. Is takhraj minat darsi asma maf'ooleen al waridati fihi. Waskur ma kulli wahidin minha fail mushtaku. Minhu ala nahu ta'ali. But we have already done it. Didn't we do it? You were careful in highlighting when we read the lesson. Now if you get time, write it down on a piece of paper. What will you write down? It's some file, it's some maful. So you, if you get a chance, write down on a piece of paper all the ism file from the main lesson. Huh? And you will write down the ism file, then you will write down the verb, madi mudarya. And the same way you will write down ism maful and write down the verb, madi mudarya. Now in the dars, in the main dars, Dr. Sahib uses majhul. To make ism maf'ool. Are you with me? I want you to quickly look to the key. Huh? Page 27, footnote. Number 3. The ism maf'ool is derived from the passive form of the verb. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Okay. That is why the passive form of the verb is given in the main book. But here in the key, the active form is given as it is easier to understand. So do not get confused, brother Muhammad. In the main dars, passive form is given. I think there is a logic in giving the passive forms. You know why? If the verb does not have a passive form, it does not have. <laughs> it's a muffle. You got the idea? If the verb cannot have a passive form, then there will be no it's a muffle in that way. So it's very logical. But it is for us sometimes easier to take the it's a muffle directly from the active voice. Inshallah. Fine, brother. Number six. Sog. What is the meaning of sug? Form. Form. Asmal maf'u leena min al afwal al ati ati. Al fiel and then is a maful. Now, as you can see, the passive form of the verb is given. Kutila. Huh? Give, give, give the mudari also for practice. Kutila yuktalu. Huh? You got to write it. Kutila. Huh? Yuktalu, for our extra practice, brother. And what? Huwa huwa maktul, brother. Ulima yu'lamu. Ulima yu'lamu. Huwa huwa ma'lum. Brother, ma'lum do din ke liye mahman yaha. Ma'lum nahi manzil hai kaha. So ma'lum is very common in Urdu. But it is actually Arabic and it is ism maf'ool. Huh? So, ila yus alu. Huh? Mas'ulun. How will you write down mas'ulun? Huh? Write it down properly, brother. Huh? Mas'u. Like this. Huh? Mas'ulun. Okay? The person responsible who is being asked huh? has to answer. He's a responsible person. In charge. Mas'ul means person who's in charge. He can be the guardian, can be the manager. Fine, brother. Shuriba Yushrabu. Write down the majul form so we get extra practice. And huwa mashrubun. Mashrubun. Now, brother, kuriya. See how the kuriya is written. Kara'a. Uh, I will write it down, brothers and sisters. 